Yes, yes, yes. Come on in, my colleague. Be seated. How are you doing? How you doing? All right, all right. How you doing, Sammy? How you doing? I'm doing okay, doing okay. Uh, did you uh, discover what was going on concerning um, our failure on the computer? Oh, yeah. Um, There's a, a lot of things we're doing these days, you know, as far as technology goes. And we keep, we keep trying to improve on, we're not necessarily trying to improve, we're just trying to build bigger and better instead of trying to improve on what we got. That's well, you know, I think we should do a lot of improvement because First of all, we cannot have all of the static in our equipment. So I want you to get a hold to those engineers, and I'm leaving that job for you, Sammy. Do you hear what I said? Yes, Colonel. Lieutenant, when you speak to Lu Lieutenant um, Allen, you make sure... Oh, shut Alice. I made a mistake. I tell you... When you speak to her, you let her know that I said I want her to make sure she checked that computer thoroughly, okay? Make sure it's clean, make sure that all of the wires is connected properly because we cannot have no static when we go up against poison. Yes, sir. What do you think about poison? Have you heard any information concerning those, it's those people from uh, that galaxy? Goodness. Ruthless. Yeah. What did you discover about them? They're ugly. Oh man. Now I mean we got a war that we don't really really have I mean I never fought those type of people before. So we're gonna have to it's gonna be a great experience for the United States to go up against these uh, I guess would you call them alien or would you call them just monsters or Human dehumanizing people. I don't know who in the hell they are. They told me rubber bullets can't kill them. <laughs> rubber bullets hurt up the average American. I don't know about them little fellas. So what you think about it? You know what, sir? We just gotta do, gotta um, find a way what their weaknesses are. We gotta analyze them and, and do our best. We we've we've come this far as far as um, war is concerned. We. We um, found out how we can kill each other, so we, we should have a way of killing um, them. Well, I found out something. We're not going to be doing no killing each other on our ship. That's totally out, Sam. You understand me? Yes, sir. General Sam, do you understand what I said? Yes, sir. We're not going to set up nobody in our uh, surrounding to get hurt by no object. Did I make myself clear to you? Huh? Yes, sir. All right. Bye -bye. Stand and salute me. And turn that hat around right. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, I'm a sergeant, sir. Give me a salute. That ain't good enough. Salute me again. Start from zero and salute me. I have great admiration for Colonel Bill Jack. Um, he's a man of integrity, intellectual, academic achievements he have acquired, and I just have enjoyed working with him. Now, I realize that the president has his arms full with the Southeastern War, what we're doing and what they're trying to do, but he must be informed that the aliens are on their way. In a in a ga in a galaxy, you know, in a galaxy, uh, track track star, you know, um, that that war. I mean, we got to come up with a way, ma'am. If you don't mind me, if you don't mind me saying, we got to come up with a way we can um, we can kill these um, aliens. Exactly. Well, see, the Iranians they here with this gas, and the president he's involved in what he has to do, but he doesn't understand that we might have. To use that gas to eliminate the aliens that are on their way here to planet Earth. It is a known fact that every 200 years, every species return to Earth. Whoever, my child, whoever controls and wins, rules Earth. That's law. 
But we have see that that's the thing. They're coming here, and we should be you know, all that technology we have here. We should be able to meet them halfway, and we should better we should con we should be able to conquer. Well, we do have we have what we call the Chinese Mexican Mafia. They deal strictly with the technique of destroying the aliens. But since they feel that the Chinese had some involvement with the um, uh, aliens coming into existence, now they only call it the, uh, the Mexican Mafia, which they have special te techniques that will destroy the aliens on site. The have we ever have 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 got those techniques that we, us, as a um, military, can uh, destroy those aliens? The military here, the Americans, have no knowledge of the alien situation. You see, my child, the aliens are here. The aliens, invisible people, along with the Martians and the giants. Now, personally, I talk with the Martians myself. And he spoke to me and told me that he had sent for the giants themselves. I delivered the message to um, the besotted source that would get the message down to the White House, thinking that the White House would be notified. But you see, the White House, once again, is so tired up with the Iranians and, and Iraq and Hussam and Bin Laden. Yes, 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 I heard, oh, I overheard I, what you said. Oh, I bless you, bless you, Colonel, bless you. Oh, my. Goodness. Sam, General Sam, how you doing, Isis? Indeed, always, indeed, always. Indeed. Salute me, salute me. Indeed, indeed, it's such Be a reason. Thank you. You know, I heard the conversation concerning uh, Americans and how all about these aliens and these giants in the land. I don't know what the hell we we into here. Oh. So uh, I tell you, I tried it on my radar. It cannot penetrate their skins. I mean, I've been working almost 15 hours to try to get that technology to work so we can discover. And I've been in the lab for the last 15 hours just trying to discover how in the hell can we kill these little bastards. I feel that personally. The President of the United States should put more energy into the alien situation that is currently going to affect us. Well, let, wait a minute, wait a minute here. That's my job to deal with the President of the exactly. United States. Exactly. You out of order, ma'am. Oh, I don't want you even mention nothing like that on this ship. Did you hear what I said? Thank you. You know, I know that you... I understand you. this war. Thank you. Don't go before me in no. this war. Thank you. What you, what you think about her? Should we lock her up and put her in the, in the dungeon or, or what? General, stand up and talk to me. No, sir. It's, well, what should we do? Wait a minute. Now. Be quiet. What should we do? I'm giving orders today. We should give her a chance, sir. Give her a chance. Yes, sir. I'm going to leave it to you to handle her. If you want to lock up, you lock up for three days. I must go. Listen. I realize about Colonel Bill Jack. And uh, if I overspoke my bounds, I apologize. But at this time, I understand what he means. We're gonna have to go beyond and above the President of the United States. And Colonel Bill Jack is correct. If the President is not able to handle the situation with the current aliens coming into planet Earth, then we shall have Colonel Bill Jack take control. It, you know, as, as as the colonel, he'll he'll get it. He'll get handled. Even the president can. You know. You know, I still hear you talking about. Thought I was gone. Still was running your mouth about what you're gonna do in America. Why didn't you arrest her? Get up. Take her to jail right now. <laughs> Don't violate my rights, woman. Yes. Sir. You you ordered you 
Yes, yes. How you doing, soldier, sergeant? Yes, sir. This, this soldier's doing fine, sir. Be seated. You know, she been messing with my head lately. I've been calling you general. I've been calling you all kinds of names. Where are you? The surgeon, sir. What? The surgeon, sir. A what? A surgeon, sir. Be seated, sergeant. I think it's serious business here between me and ISIS. I like ISIS, but I think she is a backstabber. I don't trust her on my ship any longer. When I walked out the door, just before I get out the door, she's still trying to handle the military. Major business concerning these agent, alien, aliens. She got me stumbling in my words. You know what I want you to do? I want you to work on that computer. And I want you to give her no break for 48 hours. Do you hear what I said? Yes, sir. I mean stand right over her because she need correction, soldier. Did I make myself clear? Yes, sir. And I mean every bit of it. Give her no slack. We can have weakness in our link when we're going up against aliens. They will destroy our ship. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Tend to your business. Hey, wait, come back here. Right on. Let's go. You sent for me, sir. Come in. But for your disrespect to our, our command, commanding officer, I will demote you for a day and I will set, set you to type, to type for 48 hours. This is comm commence and I'll be here every, every all the time that you're typing. Now, as you're typing, I was, I was sitting here, I was sitting here reviewing while you sit there and do that, I'll sit here and review about these these aliens. How far have you got? I've gotten four pages. Four pages? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all you got. That's all you got. Well, I just started a minute ago, and I think for uh, eighteen thousand words, I think I'm doing pretty good. You know, I do a uh, maximum of a uh, hundred words a minute, so I'm running pretty good. Yeah. So how's things been going on? Did I ask for a conversation? Oh man. Interesting, you see there. I think I have something. Hey, what's up? 
Get up. Everybody salute me. Colonel Bill Jackson. All right, ISIS. All right, Sergeant. Be seated. Watch that. Diamond there. Yeah. You can stop. You can stop. Now I got a big problem with you. Why would you treat her like that? You felt nothing. Disrespect, sir. Dismiss. Disrespect, sir. Disrespect to you, sir. I got a problem with you, too. Isis, come here. No one to treat her that way. Here, Isis. You drink that water because she's been here for 48 hours typing. How I dare you to ever treat any one of my Conrad like that? Do you understand what I said? Yes, sir. And for doing so, I don't know if I should demote you or not. I'll think about it in 24 hours, what I'm going to do to you. Let's not let it happen again. Yes, sir. Did I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Look at ISIS. I mean, you okay, ISIS? <clears throat> yes, Colonel You look Bill like you Jackson. responded to me. You okay? Yes. Okay, don't never treat her that way again. Yes, sir. I mean it. Okay. All right, would you like to put it back on? Thank you. You still clumsy. You better. I didn't tell you to give her that diamond back. Take it off her head. Did I? You yes, think sir. That, I think that head is your problem, Sergeant. Sir. Just because I was speaking well of it, I didn't mean give her the diamond again. Yes, sir, you weak. I'm gonna have to deal with you on my terms. I'm Dolores Williams. I want to talk to you a moment about the family planning program. I'm encouraging each member to involve your teenager into the family planning program. Come on, everyone. How's your attitude between Sir. ISIS? Salute me! I love to see your daughter. She's all grown up now. She's airport material. Just for me and you. 